Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sunny from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with Internet of Things. In today's session, I am going to show you how you can control your home appliances with complete automation, right? Like in the last session, I have already shown you that how you can control the home appliances using the Firebase account and the Node MCU. And in that session, what I was doing is I was just manually entering the values or let's say I was manually updating the value onto the Firebase database, which is a real time database, right? So in that I was just updating the values manually, but now I don't want to do that part manually. Instead, I want to give a complete automation in that, right? So how I'm going to do that part. So in that part, what I'm doing is I'm going to take another node MCU, right? So I'm having one node MCU. I will be connecting one external sensor and that sensor, which I'm going to use right now is IR sensor, right? So I'm going to connect and interface them together with respect to that. If in case I'm having any interrupt generated with your IR sensor, it will update the value or let's say it will send the value to the Firebase account, like which is this one and onto this particular field. So I'm having two fields. One is for the fan, one is for the light on the basis of that. What it will do, it will just update the value into these fields and on the basis of the value, which is being updated onto this field my another node mcu which is directly connected to my home appliances that node mcu will read the values from this particular field and with respect to this value whatever it is whether it is for the on whether it is for the off on the basis of that it will just update the values or let's say it will just do the automation it will just control the home appliances which are connected to the node mcu right so this is the main motive of our today's session so let's get started and let's see how to do that part now let's see what are the components required for the today's session. So firstly we require the node MCU which you can see on your screen and then we require an IR sensor then the female to female connector which will be used to interface the IR sensor to the node MCU and then last one is the USB cable which will be used to connect your node MCU to your system right. So these are the different components which we require in our today's session for this controlling of your home appliances. So let's get started. Now let's interface the node MCU to your IR sensor right. So for that you require these three components like the female to female connector, IR sensor and the node MCU right. So these are the different things. These are the different components that we require in here. Now let's connect them. So here you can see I have connected the node MCU to your IR sensor. So in which you can see I have three different pins. One is for the VCC, one is for the ground and one is for the output. Red one is for VCC. Uh, black one is for the ground and your br uh, brown one is for your output right and these are the different pins which I have connected to the node MCU in which I have used the red pin which is for the VCC is connected to VV and the black pin is connected to the ground and the last one brown is connected to the pin number D2 and accordingly now I have to write the program for this so that we can use it to do the home automation. So let's see how to do that part. Now let's write the program for this, right? So for that, just open the Arduino. So here you can see this is the program which we have used in the last session to upload uh, or let's say to read the values from the uh, Firebase. But this time we are going to do the reverse process. Instead of reading the values, we are going to update the values, right? And I'm going to update the values onto the same field, right? So right now I'm using a single IR sensor. So that's why I'm going to pick uh, the light one, right? So I'm going to pick the value for this light and accordingly I will just do this part, right? So this is all about that. Now let's uh, write a program for that as well, right? So for that also I have created one very small program, right? So in which what I have done, I have just used most of the thing, which is the common one, right? And the different thing is like I'm going to use a sensor and the sensor pin is connected to D2, which I have already shown you right now. And along with this, uh, right now here, I'm just connecting to the Wi-Fi. So this is connected to the Wi-Fi and accordingly I'm connecting it to the Firebase, right? So if in case you're not getting this part, like what exactly this is and how we are doing it in here, then you can refer to my previous video in that I have already explained you like what is this Firebase host and what is this Firebase auth and where to get these values from, right? So this is all about that. So you can directly use these values 
to connect to your firebase account and you can further do whatever you want to do whether to read the values whether to update the values right so let's move ahead so now uh, as i have already created one pin regarding this and also i have just uh, uh, defined the pin mode for that right like what type of a pin is it so that is a input type of a pin so for that i'm going to read the values so just because the sensor which i am using that is the ir sensor and that is in the digital format so it is going to return you the value in digital format so whether the zero or whether the one so that is why i am going to use this digital read from the sensor and whatever value i will get i am going to send that value to your firebase account right so let's see what i have done so here i am just reading the value so it will just read the value from your ir sensor and it will store it inside a variable h which is of integer type and inside this uh, i am putting a condition if in case i will get something uh, wrong type of a value at that time what it will do it will not move ahead instead it will return and it will check for the another value right so this is how it is going to work and after that as i know that when i will read the values from here it will return me the value in the form of 0 and 1 right so for that i have to upload the values as on and off value right because in the last session i have already shown you that i was using this on and off value to control the home appliances right so accordingly i have to just use those values and right now i'm not getting those values so that's why i'm putting a condition that if the value of h is equal to 0 so what it will do it will just send the value as off so in here firebase dot set field is used to upload the value onto the field which you are specifying here right so right now i'm using fan so let's not use it like this so let's use it for light so i'm going to pass it for light all right right so this light means i am going to pass the value onto this field right so this is all about it but if in case you are having multiple fields inside that then you can specify the complete path but for now i am only having the path directly up to this point which is light so that's why i'm just specifying the name but if in case you are having a different path just set the path as per that uh, separated with the slash right and accordingly with respect to the value 0 and 1 i have specified that the value will be on and off right so this is off this is on and if in case unfortunately my firebase got failed then it will not update the value instead it will just type like this right it will show you like pushing log failed right so this is like firebase error and it will just display that part on to the serial monitor right so this is how it is going to work and for now uh, i am putting the delay of around 2 seconds so that means after every 2 seconds it will just read the values and it will just upload the value and accordingly we will see the changes in the real time right so this is all about that and this is how we will use the code to update the values onto the firebase which i have already created in the last session right so this is all about that and in this way i can upload the values now right so everything is done now it's time to upload the values and let's see the changes but now if in case you are not able to understand like how you have created this database how you are able to create this project and further create these fields then you can refer to my previous video everything i have explained in that in just a single video you can check that and you will get the complete knowledge about that right so now let's move ahead and let's upload the program so to upload the program now let's connect the node mcu to the system now let's connect the node mcu to the system all right so i have connected the node mcu to my system now it's time to upload the values so how you can see code is showing so i can go ahead just click on upload so it will upload the values and we can see the changes so you can see the program is uploaded now we can move ahead and let's see whether it's working or not so just go to the firebase so in here you can see this is the control appliances 
and inside that you are having this pan and light so right now the state of your light is off so now let's generate the interrupt in here so you can see the light is turned on right similarly now if i will remove the hand and i will just remove the interrupt so you will see that it will update the value as off so this is the hardware which is connected to the home appliances so this is the node mcu in which we already have the pins connected and that pins are already connected to the relay which is connected to the home appliances here you can see the wires right so these are directly connected so this is the 5 volt relay which i have connected over here right so this is all about it and this is actually taking care of the home appliances and for the controlling part so this is how we have done this part and now let's see uh, this part in action right so let's see how to do that part so you can see this is the hardware which we have interfaced just now in which we have interfaced the IR sensor to the node MCU and now we can see it in action right so right now you can see the present state of your light is off so now I want to control it by using this part so for that let me just generate an interrupt in here so you can see this is on over here and here also you can see the light is turned on now right so now if in case I will just remove my hand from here you will see that the light will turn off automatically right so this is the way how we can control the home appliances by applying or by connecting any of the uh, home appliances or any sensor whatever we want to connect we can connect it and we can further use it to control the home appliances so this is the way how we can do it so that is it for today i hope everything is clear to you but still if you are facing any kind of a difficulties in understanding any of the topic then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section and i will try to resolve all your issues at the earliest and if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button and also you can press the bell icon if you want to get more updates from my channel and that is it till then bye bye and happy learning